happy Monday folks and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Eats. Now today I'm going to make a really simple, brilliant potato salad recipe. Potato salad that you get from the shops is just a bit naff. Well actually no, it's really naff. Uh, it's just new potatoes cooked and then it's just covered in loads and loads of mayonnaise. It's, there's hardly any seasoning, it's really bland, it's really boring and just a bit rubbish. Like you know when you go to someone's barbecue and you eat all the nice stuff that the, the chicken, the burgers, you know, the sausages, and you're like, oh, that's really nice. And then there's a the potato salad just sitting there, looking all lonely. And then your host will come along and go, is anybody uh, gonna eat the potato salad at all? Uh, Cause it'll only get chucked if you don't. Anyway, this is a far cry from that kind of boring, bland, shop-bought stuff. So that's what we're gonna make today. Hit that pause button, make a list of those ingredients, and we'll get cracking. Okay, the first thing to do is to get your potatoes into a pan of cold water, a bit of salt, Okay, and then you want to bring this pan to a boil and then turn down to a nice simmer and then cook the potatoes for about 15-20 minutes until they're cooked all the way through. Okay, so whilst our potatoes are cooking, we'll get on and we'll make the dressing, which is really simple. I've got some uh, spring onions here, I'm just going to take the ends off. And what I normally do is just take a knife and just run it down the length and just peel off the outside layer because it can be a bit tough. So then what you want to do is just finely dice your spring onions and then get that into a bowl. And then you want to slice your radishes, just take the ends off and then you just want to slice them nice and thin, kind of like that. Get that in the bowl as well, repeat that with the rest of your radishes and then we'll add the mayonnaise and the creme fraiche. Now I'm going to add my mayonnaise, you want about five tablespoons. Next add in your creme fraiche and what the creme fraiche does is it just lightens it all up a bit, uh, makes it less cloying because uh, you know potato salad, like I've said, it's a bit naff, it's a bit cloying, it's too heavy. Um, so that's what that does. Then a couple of teaspoons of red wine vinegar. You could use white wine vinegar, that's fine as well, but I haven't got any, so I'm using red wine. A couple of teaspoons of mustard. I'm using Dijon, but you could use whole grain mustard, or you could use English mustard. Um, just bear in mind, if it's English mustard, you might not want so much, because it's a bit more powerful. Then you want to chop up your parsley. I've just got a small bunch here, you don't need that much. Add that to your bowl. Same with your mint leaves, just chop them nice and fine, add that to the bowl. Then just add a touch of pepper, just a little bit of salt, not too much because there's going to be salt in the mayonnaise. Um, just a little bit of olive oil, um, probably about a teaspoon, something like that. This just helps bring it all together. And then just a pinch of sugar, not too much. This just balances out the sour notes from the vinegar. Um, and that's your dressing, you just want to give it a good old mix together. Give it a quick taste for seasoning. Well that's pokey, it's really nice. Okay, so you want to check your potatoes about sort of 10 minutes in, just see how they're getting on. Uh, I think these are cooked, uh, but just test with the point of a knife if it goes in easy. They're done, if it doesn't, cook them a bit longer. Okay, so I'm going to drain these off, leave them to cool until they're easy to handle. We'll chop them up and then we'll get them in the dressing. Right, so I've left my potatoes to cool just slightly um, and all we're going to do is going to slice them in half and then get them straight into that dressing. Kind of some of the smaller ones, leave them whole. Okay, so I've chopped up my potatoes and then it's just a case of mixing it all through. Okay, and that's pretty much ready. You just need to leave it to cool down. Um, I'm going to put this in the fridge, cover it with cling film, and then it's ready to use whenever you want it. Well, there we have it. Potato salad looks great. It does benefit as well from sitting for a couple of hours, just so those flavours can really marry together. But I can't wait. I'm going to give it a try now. It's delicious. It's a mile away from any of that shop or cack. Got a nice kick from the uh, mustard and the vinegar. Those peppery, crunchy radishes as well make a nice difference. And then you've got that gentle hum from the spring onions. Well, that was pretty simple. I hope you'll agree. The hardest part is what? Waiting for the potatoes to cook. Then it's just chopping some stuff up, put it all in a bowl, mix it all together, and you've got potato salad. And it's a far cry from that supermarket tosh. Also, you know, leave a comment below as well if you've got your own way of making it. Uh, share some tips and ideas with me or recipes. I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Well, that's it for today, guys. Again, thanks for watching. And also, if you like my videos, remember to click that subscribe button. Uh, I will leave all my social media links in the description below as per usual. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.